What's up everybody on YouTube? Main Man Sui here, coming at you with another amazing video. And today we're gonna talk about uh, Jin Kazama in Season 3, who has received quite a number of substantial nerfs. I've been screaming for nerfs a long time. Very strong in Season 1, perfect in Season 2. You probably remember standing 4 and forward 4, down back 4, up forward 2, Ford for two. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you, you name it. You know, it, it's all here. It's all here. You know, uh, it's too much to count the amazing moves of Jin. But now, so yeah, it seems like the developers heard us all, or heard heard one particular individual. Hello, Jim players. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. No ill ill feelings towards you guys. <laughs> nah, that was also a joke. Uh, but yeah, he got a lot of substantial nerfs, but he got a couple of buffs. Uh, he has a new move, Zen 1 Free, which does incredible things with his combos. Now let, let's see this wall to wall here. Ooh! Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Ooh! 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 Ha! 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 Weibo! You see? That new Zen 1 free will connect after pretty much anything. You see? Like, the range on the move is incredible. So, pretty much, uh, no matter where you are on the stage, <coughs> Jin is able to wall splat you. This is a theme going through all of Season 3. I feel like a lot of characters have got um, <laughs> better wall travel. So from what I understand, uh, every single one of Jin's combos has been changed and now features this move. So uh, a big deal. Oh, and you have an easy $100 combo now. Um, why did I pick Lei? He dances around and changes the axis. So I'm just mashing it out. No micro dash. No nothing. Super easy. I'm just mashing it out. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Hoo <laughs> hoo! So yeah, the combos are better. Um, more damage, more wall travel, and simplified. It's easier to do. So these are buffs. And then, forward 1 plus 2 is now a wall bounce. That's not bad, considering it is a um, 14 frame natural combo, high high, that is safe on block, right? Or am I mistaken, Jin players? That's actually safe? So, uh, definitely a buff, uh, so beware of being uh, leaving yourself at minus 14 if you have your back towards the wall versus Jin. Um, yes, it's safe. And then another pretty cool buff, this is a big one in my opinion. 1, 2, 4, the last hit on counter hit will now uh, give a uh, combo. It screws on counter hit. Uh, wow. Uh, okay. Okay, free one is not. <laughs> oh, there we go. Pro combo. Dropped it again. Sweet. But uh, that's really good considering one, two, three is jab interruptible. Between the second and third hit, people like to interrupt here with a jab. So now. If someone tries that, in the old games, they would be knocked down. But now, they get launched. Big deal. And really good. Really good. And his standing 2 has more downward range. So what does this mean? The hitbox is bigger, but not in terms of range, but rather vertical range. Hmm, so how can we show this? Well, basically by 
bounding the opponent, running in, and doing a two on a bound, on a bounded opponent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jin. Oh my god, come on! Uh, what? I did this a million times. Okay, there we go. Uh, so you couldn't do that in prior seasons. Now you have an expanded hitbox. It's gonna be better for combos, I guess. Is it gonna help in certain matchups? I don't know. Rage Drive has less pushback on block, uh, which is a good thing. Because afterwards, uh, if it's blocked, you know, you wanna apply a crouch dash mix up. It was a bit obnoxious previously, because on block it knocked them so far away. But now it keeps them close, so you can very quickly go for, well, the, the mix-up you want. So that's really good. Uh, wind Hook Fist on uh, counter hit apparently leaves them closer. But to me it still seems like it knocks them quite far away, but apparently that, that's a little closer. So that's a small quality of life change. So those were the buffs, and it's pretty good shit, especially the Zen 1 free. Might mention also that it has some use in the neutral. You know, Zen 1 2 is a natural combo mid mid wall splat. Which is good, but it's minus 12, right, on block. I think it's... Or is it minus 14, even? I think it's minus 12. No, it is minus 14. Shit. So, as a mix-up now, you have Zen 1-3, which is mid-high, but safe on block. But of course, they can block the mid and then duck the kick. But they have to be afraid of Zen 1-2, so... Pretty nice. And that's also wall splash. So I think that's pretty cool. That new move has a, a lot of use to say the least. And so this is great, but this came at a price, and especially being as strong as Jin has been season one and two. So he's been quite dramatically nerfed on his key moves, which of course are standing four forward 4 and down back 4. All three of these has have been hit. Um, and yeah, it's it's gonna suck, but I think Jin, considering you know how many awesome moves he has, and that the fact that these moves still work quite well, he's still gonna be very strong. He's just not going to be as, to be honest, brain dead. So let's start with down back 4. As you know, that's a counter hit launcher in Season 1 and 2. But now it gives you a Kazumi style Season 2 down back 4 counter hit effect where we get a guaranteed down 2 for 40 damage. But that's it, where you can do a flip for 42. But no more combos. No more combos. A good change, if you ask me. And then forward 4 on counter hit still gives a combo but it knocks so far away that the while standing for combo here is very hard to do it's very hard it's actually not reliable at all so what this is is that if you want a combo from your forward four on counter hit you have to commit to zen if you commit to Zen, you can easily do the while standing 4 into combo. But now the move of course becomes much more technical if you want to stay safe. In Season 1 and 2 you could just do forward 4 like this. And it's safe. And then you just wait for the counter hit and then run in with while standing 4. In Season 3 you have to commit to Zen. And what this means is that if you want to mash it from afar, and still say, stay safe on block um, and still get the combo you have to learn to do the Zen cancel which is uh, hold forward to go into Zen 
uh, cancel that into a crouch dash by holding down forward and then block. This is very technical. Veteran gym players know how to do this, but uh, you didn't really have to do this in Tekken 7 considering, considering you could do the while standing 4 combo. But in Tag 2 and prior games, you had to do this. Zen cancel. So Jin is now <laughs> much harder to use. Much harder. Uh, and that of course affects his tier placing, I would say, but still a very strong, very, very strong character. But yeah, that's a pretty big nerf. Makes him much harder. And then standing four is the same on hit. Big advantage. Recovers quickly. On counter hit, you still get the super easy uh, combo of death. But if you whiff it, uh, it, it has three more frames of sluggishness. So if it does not make contact with the opponent, he recovers three frames slower. So this is, you can compare this to the Mishima Electric if it does not connect on hit or block. It, the Mishima just freezes a little bit like, uh, you know, that's an effect they added in Tekken 6. And it's the same now with Jin standing 4. If he does not connect with the opponent, uh, he's a little bit more sluggish to recover, making him more vulnerable to whiff punish. So no, it's gonna be harder to just stand around like this now, you know? Uh, you know, like we... Okay, so now you're probably going to have to mix more. Oh no, now you need to Zen cancel forward. forward. <laughs> so you're gonna look like this. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it, it's gonna be harder. And also a pretty nice nerf, if you ask me, is that his forward forward free. Uh, that's his axe kick, you know, like Kazuya's forward forward free. Uh, his mid launcher from Wave Dash, that is safe. Is now, it's no longer plus two on block, it's neutral on block. So you and the opponent recover at the same time. But to be honest, how, how could you justify his Wave Dash? Pretty decent range, mid launcher being plus two on block. Safe mid launcher plus two on block and fast. Eh, pick a couple of those, but don't add all of them into the same move. Uh, that was a little bit too good. So now it's neutral at least. So you're not minus, you're neutral. Uh, and yeah, that's. Um, that's it about uh, Jin in uh, Season 3. So, <laughs> he's still a great character. You still have so many awesome uh, moves and utilities and attributes. Godlike parry. Uh, Zen is still here. Um, Jin is still fantastic, but the, the free amigos, you know, the standing for forward four, down back four, they all took a hit, they were too good. Honestly, getting a down two here, that's still a great low. Still a great low. It was a bit too much getting a combo. And forward four, without having to go into Zen, brain dead, brain dead. Standing four, brain dead, so strong. Yeah, making a little bit more sluggish, that's the way to go. Uh, but still a great character, just not over the top. So that's season 3 Jin.